I would certainly say it's the headliner in the country today. Alabama undefeated, currently ranked number one in Auburn, ranked number 14th in the country with a fine eight and two record. Live side of the field is left. Looking out that way, seven, Sealy. Sealy lines it in. Keeps himself. One foot. Keeps the five. Two. Touchdown for seven, And it's a touchback. Let's watch the triple option. But first fake to the fullback. Then outside with a quarterback, Gray. Then he pitches out to Haney, number 21. A very fine freshman. Goes right in for the touchdown. And we've selected our Chevrolet most valuable players. And we've selected from Alabama today. The wide receiver there he is, Keith Stewart. Everybody in Evergreen, you bet. Thousand dollar scholarship. And he had some young men. Get back to Alabama's victory in the 46th annual Sugar Bowl. The game started with Alabama immediately getting into trouble. Don McNeil here fumbled the opening kickoff. Arkansas recovered to set up the Ish Ordonis field goal you're about to see. This puts the Hogs up three to nothing. Still in the first quarter with the Tides running game in high gear. The game's most valuable player, Major Ogilvy, raced 22 yards for Alabama's first score of the day. Alabama 7, Arkansas 3. After Alabama recovered a Razorback fumble deep in their territory, Billy Jackson ran and Major Ogilvy hurtled over from the 1 for his second score. Late in the second period, it was Ogilvy again returning this Arkansas punt 49 yards to the Hog 30 to set up a field goal by McElroy. This made the score, as you'll see, coming up here in a second, 17-3 to at intermission. Arkansas came out storming in the second half, opening with an 80-yard scoring drive. Kevin Scanlon passing to Robert Farrell for the final three yards. A try for two points failed. Alabama 17, Arkansas 9. In the fourth quarter, it was all Alabama putting together a spectacular 98-yard drive, which was capped off with Steve Whitman bursting up the middle for the last 12 yards. Alabama 24-9. Arkansas tried. They couldn't score any again, uh, again. Congratulations to the Crimson Tide, who owned the country's longest winning streak at 21 in a row. Also, today's victory marked their fifth straight postseason bowl win. By now, the Alabama Crimson Tide has been voted college football's national champions for 1979 in both major wire service polls, AP and UPI. There was really never much doubt about UPI giving the Tide the title, but there was some concern in AP. The coaches poll gave Bama 28 of 38 first place votes with nine votes going to Southern California and one to Oklahoma. Surprisingly enough, AP voted the tied number one overwhelmingly. They received 46 of 67 ballots with the other 21 going to Southern Cal. And the final rankings in AP look like this from top to bottom. Alabama on top, Southern Cal number two, Oklahoma a strong third after that final. When Alabama was declared the national champions in both polls today, Bear Bryant called the 79 tied team one of his greatest teams ever and added, it will always be special to me personally. When the Bear received word of his fifth national title this afternoon, Total News Sports reporter Roger Springfield was also standing by. Here's his report. A better script could not have been written. The Tide had to beat Arkansas in the Sugar Bowl decisively, and they did. And then Southern Cal had to beat Ohio State in a close game in the Rose Bowl, and they did. So that paved the way for today, when Bama was declared the national champion. In Tuscaloosa, Reaction was not as joyous as one would expect. Well, certainly, you know, hearing that certainly made us real happy. Uh, that's that's our number one goal, and that's what we strive for. That's what we what we work hard for. And certainly, you know, it brings a lot of satisfaction from receiving this too. Uh, well, the number one poll. Well, I feel kind of like a, a bottle of champagne that's been popped. I guess all bubbly and <laughs> ready to spew over. I just I'm really overjoyed for for everybody on the team. I, it's been three years we've been working for this to be the one and only one. Well, I'm very happy, of course. But. Second down and eight. Healy going over the middle, wide open. It's Travis, no question about it, touchdown. Fifty-six yards to the tight end, Tim Travis, number 88, out of Bessemer, Alabama. He was open by 10 yards. Let's watch it again. It's an option play for the.